You know, friend, you need to get this man called Jesus tonight. These drugs and all these things in inner land and country is going to pass away. They're going to melt with firm and heat, Brother Lonnie. They're going to be gone after a while. But one day after a while, if you're not got that blood applied to your heart, friend, hell will be your home. You need to get right with this man called Jesus. You know, he's there praying. He's wanting to bless you. He's wanting to bless your land. He's wanting to bless leaders of the nation, but they won't let him. They don't worry about this man called Jesus. They got their mind on the things of the world. That devil is a, a deceiving people today. He's a deceiving a lot of people. And people's dying each and every day, Brother Israel, and going to hell because they're not accepting this man called Jesus. Not listening to this word. You know, this is his word from beginning to end. He knows and he promised you these things. You need to get him tonight. If you don't have him, you need to find him. Seek him while he can be found because one day out of a while, friend, he, you won't be able to find him. You need to find him while he can find him. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents. Look out in our land and country today, friend. Look at the children. Children tells the parents what to do. The parents obey the children. They don't discipline like they need to be disciplined. No rules. They're afraid to whoop one. Give it a good spanking. Do it like my mom used to do me when I was coming up. She laid the switch to me. Big Wheeler switch. Been good if she'd give me a little bit more of it. You know, there's a lot more of this needs to happen today. Children disobeying disobedience to their parents. You know, the Bible tells us if you obey your parents, you live long on this earth, Brother Lonnie. If you're disobedient to your parents, you're going to end up in a bad place. And you know, one thing that happens today is like this. Parents is not obeying God the way they need to obey them, and that's the reason the children is not obeying the parents. God need children need to bring the children. The parents need to bring the children up in the way of the Lord. Discipline, make them mind, take them to church, tell them about this man called Jesus. Tell them one day after a while they're going to need him. Times is bad in our land and country today, and it's going to get worse, friend. It ain't going to get no better. It's going to get worse. Sir. Listen, I'm thankful. Are you thankful this morning for air saving, for what you have? Are you thankful for it? Got shoes on your feet? Got clothes on your back? Where did they come from? The Lord don't give it to you. You can't have it, Brother Israel. Food on your table today? Got a roof over your head? In the winter time, got heat. In the summertime, you got air. Got a church house that's got air in it. Padded seats. And they won't come to church. They'd rather go fishing or go hunting. Friend, you better get your mind on this man called Jesus and not worry about hunting and fishing or playing the lottery to win a million dollars because you come into this world naked and you're going to leave here naked, Brother Johnson. You ain't going to take nothing with you when you leave here. You better get ready to go this evening. God loves you and he's wanting to bless. He's wanting to bless tonight. If you're here and you've got a need, you can get it right here tonight. If there ain't anything wrong in your life tonight, you can get it tonight right here. All you got to do is call upon his name. Say, if you'd ask, you shall receive. Ask him. See what he does for you. He answers prayers. I do know that. He's blessed me and my family so much in the last little while. It's just hard to keep up with the blessings that he restores on you. You can talk all night about this man called Jesus. Talk about what he can do for you. Do you know him tonight? Do you know this man called Jesus? If you don't know him, you need to find him. He's the best friend that you could ever have. Your family will forsake you. Your friends will forsake you. But Jesus will be there for you in the middle of the night. 
No matter what time you call on him, he'll be right there. And he'll answer your prayer in his time, not in yours, in his time. You know, I prayed for something for the last year. I wanted it done right on time, my time. God seemed fit to answer it in his time. So he took care of it. Fixing to happen just any day. So he answers prayers. The only way that you can know this man called Jesus through him by the blood. He went to that old cross, Brother Johnson, and suffered, bled, and died for us. Suffered, bled, and died for us. He loves us. He was innocent when they hung him on that cross. He hadn't done anything, Brother Lonnie. He was an innocent man. You know, I'd say there's a lot of innocent people out in prisons today. Don't deserve to be there, but they're there because the judge said that they need to go. Friend, you better count on that one judge. We've not got but one judge.